Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Megaria 5 a Rise of Russell Hog DLC campaign with all the mods as well and I was looking around and well not looking around looking at stuff that I should do after this and one of those is I could try and fight all the mechs in the game we found 70% of all the different types of mechs in the game at the moment which isn't too bad which is not too bad um, but this is what I'm looking at. So, the mercenaries. We get quite a bit of money from this, which is always good, because it means we can look at buying lots of expensive stuff. And we get some mechs, which could be handy. Um, obviously, high-tier weapons. These are all tier 5 and a bit of ammo for them from paint jobs. But if we go to progress and go all the way across, we get a, you know, Centurion. The AL. Which is not a bad mech. Uh, Kintaro 19B. We have an XL engine, double heat sink kits. Uh, Star League Relic. You know, that's pretty good. Uh, K2. Catapult. Very good. We're getting bigger. Crusader. And we get an Atlas P and a Star League Crab. So we're getting some good stuff. And we get a tier 60 pilot. I mean, what else could we want? What else could we want along with 9 million sea bills? That's at tier 8. Tier 9 is a Highlander. Highlander. I mean, we've got a red shank. Um, that's not even a Star League relic, but it has a Gauss rifle. 11 million sea bills and AMSs. Lots of AMSs, lots of weapons in general, and tier 5 weapons along the board. But here's where it gets amazing. We get some very big weapons. 10 double heat sinks is what you get standard for this. Along with, I think, 20 million. Yes, you have seen it. That is a, a night star. A pretty good thing. A night star. Um, with Star League Relic. Another stuff. Excel engine built into it. Good. Very good mech. But this. The rare, the fabled Marauder 2. Eight energy hard points. No missile hard points. All energy builds. No double heat sink kit in that. No double heat sink kits. We can make that mech amazing. We can. So, we need to hunt down all the mercenaries in the Inner Sphere and out of the Inner Sphere and everywhere in between um, to get that. Because I want a Marauder 2. It's a rare thing. You can't really find them on the battlefield. You might find them in the end game uh, missions. But they're still very hard to get because you're not going to get much salvage all the time anyway. You've got to pick one of these. You have to find two or three of them to be able to take them. And then it's broken. This is a pristine mech. But anyway, that is a long way from being a thing. So at the moment, let's go to the store. That's not the store. That's the store. I want to pick up one thing, and that is the Royal Laser AMS because I think we need it. Six million C-bills. We've got that spare at the moment. We're going to get that money. Let's get into the mission. Let's have some fun. And I hope everyone enjoys the video. If you do, remember to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And let's begin. I also like the fact that, oh, there's nothing left of us. I've got an entire company that's, like, ready to deploy. And a good 20 mechs in storage that I can just deploy. But I'm guessing they're technically off planet. I haven't got three companies worth of mechs just lined up behind me. And they're going, oh, we've got nothing left. I, I kind of have. Kind of have. So 42 salvage, 3 million sea bills, looking good. I'm not going to complain. Um, Fenrir is out. So we've got 400 tons. I think we're going to deploy as much as we can. I'm going to take the Agin Core because it's just a glorious mech. Uh, Mist, yeah. And I'll leave the Night Star in. We'll drop you for. Who are we taking here? I think some of my heavy mechs are better. I'm going to take the BRL. Let's see if it gets wrecked once again, because every time I deploy it, it kind of does. And we're not going to take the loop to go. I think that's too small for this mission. We need bigger pilots. Um, well, bigger mechs, sorry. 
What have we got here? What have we got? Oh, yeah, we got the Cyclops last time. <laughs> I kind of started repairing it. It's... I'll repair it and stick it into storage. Why not? I might go over heavy, but some of the heavy mechs are better than the assault mechs I've got. So we'll take the Yaj. I haven't that hasn't seen the field for a while. And chainsaw. Here, Commander. Ready for engagement. Let's go. Let's deploy. Wait 15 days. And good times. So we ain't got many missions left. I think there's two or three. Right, so this is actually the three-way fight. Tells. I didn't know what mission we were playing. Stop talking, Jesus. You done talking? You are done talking. Right, I did not know what mission we were facing. Had no idea. Completely forgot. I think I may have brought the best mech for this because the alpha strike on this mech is just glorious. So let's push it. Let's get a bit aggressive. We've also got more missile support from the Yaj. Just gone. Warhammer. Gone. Archer. Missed. <laughs> Okay, can't get the Warhammer. Sorry, the that guy, the, the Archer. I'm half, half the Crusader in one shot. Dropship coming in, another dropship leaving. Close call, close call. Right, should have line of sight here. The Atlas will run me down like, um, well, like I'm the scariest thing in the world. Okay, I'll just go for you since I can see you. I can't see the other guys so well. Why are you so broken already? Right, 
Right, can I keep sensor log long enough to hit you? No. Not really. Half a blackjack. It's going to be even less of a blackjack. Yeah. Just the LRM build on this mech is insane. The only reason I'm saying a range is because I can't, uh, can't fire at minimum range, point blank range. Where is everybody? I'm going to go around here because it seems like they're fighting over here. Good looking bad. Are you still walking? Is that the Atlas? No, that's the Zeus. Awesome. You're gone. Jägermech. Gone. Last one in the Ryan. Gone. And to think I had to cheat to get that one done when it first came out. Now, I had to shoot my the blue allied lance to get a bigger, fresher lance in. Are we going? We are going. You're not supposed to shoot your allies to get new allies in, but I had to because it's the only way I could do it. Um, three million Seabills. Well, that is an Atlas D. Problem is, it's not that great. Why is it broken? Why it, did it come down in bad condition? I don't know. We are going to take it because I think we want one now. I also want that AC-10 because it's just tier 5. Zeus, not all that worried about that. Orion, we've got plenty of Orion parts. Archer? No, I think we've got our perfect archer. We've got no war hammers as far as I'm aware. Or have we? We might have some in storage. I haven't used them for a while. There is a Jaeger mech part. We could potentially build... No, we can't. We've got six picks left. Okay, so... Let's pick an AC... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I want all three of those, really. How many do I need? Six, so there's three there. Okay. Do I take this, then? I want to. I honestly want to. No. It's fine. We've got seven picks left. Well, let's take a Shadowhawk part. And we can build a Shadowhawk then. Um, yeah, I kind of did 4,500 damage. And, and everyone else did a total of, what, 250? 56? 256? I got fatigued for four days. They got... A little bit of fatigue. Oh, you've got four days of fatigue because you did 200 damage. You got a kill with zero damage. How did you get a kill? Are you an air... Okay, you got an air unit. <laughs> 15 kills. One of which was an air unit. So 14 mechs I took down. That's insane. No damage. The only damage is on me. Literally on me. There is an Atlas D in broken condition. But that is an Atlas D. We can build one. And we got some tier 5 weapons, but that's not. 5 million Z-Bills. Is that it? Is that the campaign? No, there is a couple more missions on another planet, I believe. Uh, one thing I want to do is check the cantina, collect two trebuchet, kill five of... We could do that one. 
In fact, killing five Orion, I think, is better than killing five champions. Because we just don't see champions. So, what do we get here? An ER large laser and a double heatsink. 5.7 million Seabills. I think I am going to abandon that one to take that one. We get a heavy rifle. So, we get a worse weapon, but we can at least complete it. That's the thing. Upgrade points four. Wow. We just don't, can't collect a Kintaro because we never see them. We have to fight more Curator forces to find that. And... Yeah, I think we're ready to go. Well, actually, no. We need to repair our massive damage from that last fight. Oh, and the Atlas. Uh, am I Am I repairing... The Atlas, not here, not here. It can go over in storage for the moment. And then we've got... Oh, I have. I've, I need three parts of a Atlas. I've only got two parts of any one. And I want that Atlas, the Atlas A, with lots of missiles. Yes. We can build the awesome, but not right now, because it, it doesn't help us right now. In all fairness, I want hero mechs or franken mechs, one or the other. But at the moment, let's depart, let's get out of here. And 28 days, let's set course to wherever we're going. Is it Gunsberg? I don't think it is Gunsberg. It did say on the screen. I didn't read it. So I'm not going to lie. It's Radstad. There we go. We've got another cantina here. <laughs> Killer King Crab Triple Zero B. Collect an Orion. We could collect that Orion. And Orion. Okay, let's see what we can get done first of this. I don't think we're going to get... We, we could get six lasers. Let's see if there's any here to pick up. Let's see if there's anything here to pick up that's worthwhile. Ooh. Shredder machine gun, sniper artillery piece. There's some good stuff, just not perfect. Okay, there is one more. I need one more laser from this next mission and we're good. Or... Or we... That's a lot. That's It's expensive to buy them, but we might end up doing it. Yeah, anything else worth picking up here? SR Infernos. We haven't played with them yet. Much. Let's pick some up. Let's start picking up some Inferno SRMs. Uh, no AMS. Nothing there. Um, no. Ooh, Pirate Double. Yeah, they're pretty good. The pirate singles are also pretty good. Agility gyro is acceleration, deceleration. Doesn't bother me too much. Uh, we'll pick up some improved sensors. I oh, know power sensors are the better one. Sorry. Okay, we'll have some of each. Nothing else is appearing yet. And on the market, there is an Atlas RS. No. Nope. Cycle enhancement. 25% uh, cooldown. Ooh, so we fire faster. Nice. I think that's what the um, all missile one has. All right, we are ready to go. Even the Cyclops is ready to go. It's perfect. Look at it. Nothing broken in it. I'm gonna stick it over here for the moment. The only one hero mechs out for the moment. Right, let's let's do this. Let's finish this all off. 45 salvage picks. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm going to stick with the same lance. It's a good lance simply because of the Agon Core. It just shreds. If I run out of ammo, it will be a first. Because I've yet to run out of ammo. Because I don't need to fire that much. 
Marcus Kurita's eldest son, Alexander, has rallied a number of disparate Ronin forces and has raided Radstadt. He's hoping to find hidden combined military caches lost during the Fourth Succession War. If he's successfully able to acquire these hidden stockpiles, he could resupply the faltering Ronin forces and further prolong this war. We cannot allow that to happen. The First Cavalry have been in system and holding his forces at bay for the past two months. But they're a lightweight reconnaissance unit without the firepower needed to bring an end to Alexander's war. We need to secure a beachhead so that we can land our assault forces and relieve the Cavalry. Forge us a path, Commander. Taking out their communications towers will allow us to deploy reinforcements to the field. Destroy them if they provide a valid target on our field. Artillery installations detected. Destroy them at every possible opportunity to cut down on the Ronin bombardment. Right. Let's go. More tanks coming in. Partisan tanks. Ooh, was the other one a demolisher? The other one might have been demolisher. We need demolisher tanks. It was a demolisher. Right, we're going to go finish that guy off. I think this mission has lots of demolishers, if I remember correctly. So yes, I've kept hold of that mission from literally the beginning of the game, which has been a bit stupid, but it's paying off now because we get to finish off some demolishers. Give me. I need to work on the recensor retaining. So four more demolishers and we're good. And we also need to get rid of the artillery. Where are we going? We're going just this way everything is this way I think the Yaj yeah, has got better sensor range than I have because it's able to fire a lot further Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. Out here. yeah I'm not getting a chance to shoot those there's another demolisher Yes, there's this pickup, but it means standing still, and that's bad. Another demolisher. All right, get that. I got missed. I don't know how, but I got missed. All right, one more demolisher is needed, and we're good to go. I want reinforcements. I want to hopefully take out all the satellite dishes. If you find the acquisition, just walk up to it. Okay, we are doing so. From up here, can I see a lot of these artillery? You're coming up on our primary objective. Clear out this installation's defenders and secure the facility. There's also a lot of egos. Right, we're getting there. Dragon. Oh, take him, take him, take him. 
Oh God. Too close, too close. Pull away, pull away. Ah, oh, Jesus. More of these guys. Yeah, I wasn't close enough. Out of range. But I still got it. I still got it. They flew into range, obviously. Missed. Not that time. You're gone as well. Right? Yeah, get stomp on most of those whilst doing that. Good. Right, we're not looking too beat up. And yes, there is a lot going on. So, artillery gone. Satellite dishes are still up. Oh, how'd I miss? We might be out of range. Or he's behind cover or something. He blew up finally. Right, so I never actually got all of these. But these are the last two, I believe. Uh, we got Maybe not. Maybe not. Where's the last one? Over there. Good work, Commander. I'm deploying tier forces to your location. Sit tight. I hit something. Now it seems to be in low ground, so everything's hitting the terrain. Yeah, I can't get in there. Well, I can't get the missiles in there, but I can get in there. Awesome. Nope. Nope. Snap terrain. Well, let's get in the circle then. You're out of range. Most of the missiles. Or some of the missiles, but not all of the missiles. And we lost lock anyway. I lost lock with this in the last second. You're down. More of you. Gauss rifle has the range. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh, look at it bounce. It bounced all the way back up to where its friend was. Right, there's one more mech. Let's go after him. Where is he? I know he's there somewhere. Oh, it's a tank. Demolisher! We should have one more wave and that's it. Here comes that final wave of two. Really? It better be something absolutely epic. A rifle man. Yeah. Probably shouldn't shoot the dropship into in case it wants to shoot back. Uh, Cyclops. That was that was nothing. After the all of the rest of the fight, there should be a bigger fight at the end there. First Cavalry, this is Ovest, the Christian Monster, there of the first tier. We have just breached the atmosphere and will be planet side shortly. Have all commanding officers report to my dropship immediately. I want a sit rep on all Ronin activity on Rush stuff. 
Acknowledged, Overstay. We'll be there. Happy to receive the relief. Done! So we got a um, good chunk of money. Ooh. Good chunk of money from the. Um, what do you call it? Do I care about. No, I've got a Cyclops. AC 10s. Let's see what else is down here. Dragon. There's no hero mechs on this mission. AC 2s. some height actually is there is there there is no large laser large laser tier two you know what i can potentially upgrade that to tier three if i can get enough i might take another stalker part just so i've got a full stalker and it doesn't cost me any money to build it and i've got two picks which is gonna be a trusty AC5. Yeah. 4,300 damage. At least these guys did some damage this mission. They redeemed themselves. There you go. We get 1.7 million. Okay, so not as much as I was hoping. But AC10 burst fire tier 5. Good. War Dog is now complete, so we don't have to take any of those. Although I will still take them because that's the easiest way to get um, free money, basically. Then Cantina. Um... Collect an Orion. We, I'm pretty sure we have an Orion that I can trade in. So, yeah, I have multiple. But, 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 we have a K, which is a bog standard thing. Let's assemble that. Cost me half a million, but it means I get to keep everything else, everyone else. So the K. It, it's very broken. You're good, but not amazing. Obviously, the Yaj is the hero. It's just the best. We get Nark, tier 5, and 5.6 million C bills. Putting us over 40 million C bills. We're, we're space rich again. We are rich beyond belief. And it should be the final mission next, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, we need another Cantina mission now. Uh, kill three Battle Masters? We could potentially do that. But that gets me two Ultra Auto Cannon 5s. If I ever see a King Crab Triple B, I'll be over the moon. But killing three Battle Masters is more achievable, because I see them. So we'll take it. We'll take it. And yeah, let's get into this. Let's go, go, go. All the salvage. All the salvage on this one. But first... Uh, upgrades. Three million symbols for fire, for 15 extra... Yeah. Why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? We are, hopefully, getting an extra point now. So, I don't know if it, no, I don't know if we did. I think we're on the edge, literally on the edge, but it's fine. 45 picks are still pretty good. We've got seven days until the mission starts. I'm going to keep the same lance, so boom, let's go. And this should be the last one. And then we got this complete. We get a bunch of money. And then we're free to... I am tempted. So tempted. To... Go after a... Ooh, reach the armory. I want the armory. Whatever's in the armory, I want it. I remember this one. Yes, this is the final mission. If I remember correctly. Decimated Marcus Corita's Ronin. 
Marcus's son, Alexander, is the final senior officer of the Ronin that has eluded capture. And now, he has found one of Count Corita's hidden military stockpiles thought lost during the Fourth Succession War. Alexander believes that his father was acting on behalf of Coordinator Takashi Kurita to keep Brasselhag under combine rule. If he's allowed to resupply his battered forces, Alexander could wage a guerrilla war with the Republic for years while sowing support within the combine for the Roman Corps. We cannot allow this to happen. The First Cavalry have tracked and confirmed Alexander's presence among the Ronin at the marked location. Our primary objective is to clear the facility of all Ronin forces and bring Alexander Kurita into custody. Good hunting, everyone. It's time to end this. Oops, I muted my mic. I muted my mic so that I could cough whilst we were talking, or the, the guy was talking, and I didn't unmute myself. But I'm back. All you missed me say was, I'm too close to the King Crab to fire. In panic because I thought I was going to get absolutely hammered, but no. We're good. Turret. A little bit too close on some of those. Ah, come on. Why do you gain lock just to lose it a second later? I need to look at the sensors on this guy. They don't seem to be that good. At least I can. I can stomp on those. Someone else will get that. This is the armory, I believe. There's... I oh, not quite yet. Ah, my missiles are better than yours. Oh, oh, what are you? You're hot. He's dead three times over. Anyone else here? Anyone else? There is. It's a locust. It's gonna go down. Yeah. Good times. This base houses numerous uh -huh. snacks and weapons abandoned by House Corita during Rodstad's conquest in the Fourth Succession War. Do what you can to minimize damage to the surrounding facility. The supplies here will be invaluable to resupplying our forces once the rolling has been cleared out. to get it done. I just need to find things that are shooting. See you. Just give me a sense of luck. Oh, we have done it. So we can move on. 
romantic girls. Don't stand a chance, really. One down, a few broken. Oh, too close. Come on, shoot, please, someone. Or not. Dragon. Gone. Dogger, gone. Right. Two more. One of which is the Hatamoto, I believe. Can't remember if it's a hero mech or not. Problem is, I can't. I can't. I can't push on them because I've got a bit of a range. Oh, you're jumping. Look at you. You found the jump button. There we go. The on. Gone. He's gone. He's not on. He's gone. Right, there's one more. Let's go find him. He's over there somewhere, I believe. Hopefully, we can get to see him before he sees us. And, well, not that we'll die, but we will be able to take him out quicker. Okay. He's uh, broken. That's. Yeah, come on, come on. There, gone. And we win. Citizens of Rasselhaeg, the night has passed, and a new glorious day has dawned on the Republic. I am here with you to announce that the primary perpetrators of the Ronin uprisings across our new Republic have been brought to justice. The Ronin's rejection of our sovereignty and callous disregard for civilian life was nothing new to the people of Rasselhaeg. Their objective was to reinforce a 700-year culture of oppression and racism towards our people, returning us to a status quo that sought to have them retain absolute power over us. In that, they have utterly failed. Today, the people of Rasselhaeg remain free, while the Ronin's dated ideals of bigotry die with their misbegotten crusade. This was accomplished not just by the valiant efforts of our own brothers and sisters in the Kung's Armee, 
or the mercenaries that supported our cause, but from the help of our former countrymen, Gunji no Kanre Theodor Korita, and the soldiers of the DCMS. Although our paths have diverged, Conray Corita and the brave members of the DCMS fought on our behalf against their own. Their sacrifices on behalf of the people of Rasselhaig show us all the true honor and compassion of the dragon. Their actions will never be forgotten. This war has acted as a baptism of fire for our new republic. It is one that has forged us into a stronger nation that has proven to the entire inner sphere what we have known all along. That together, the people of the free Russell Hague Republic are no one's lesser. From this day forth, the Russell Hague people will now and forever stand amongst the great houses of the inner sphere as equals. Epic speech. And then they're going to get torn to pieces by the clans in about 10 years. So a bit of money, and we can build that. There is four parts of this guy, but I'm pretty sure we get this guy in a second. So I'm going to take that. If we don't get this guy, I'll be annoyed. But I'm going to get him, like, one piece of him. Yeah. Oh, well. He won't bother. Uh, Catapult K2, no. Rifleman, no. Large laser tier 4. Is there any tier 3 large lasers? No, there's some of those though. I'll take that. I'll take the katana. That could be handy should we get the mech in a second. And nothing else down here, no. So we've got 10 more picks. Ten more picks. Why is the K2 so much more expensive? Three picks more expensive than the C1. Either way, I've got a King Crab that we can build in a second. And you know what? I'm going to take one piece of a Firestarter H. And it doesn't really make too much difference, but there's terrible, terrible stuff here. We'll just do that. Good. Right. Mist is getting very, very close to being maxed out. It's just evasion that you're short on. Otherwise, you are maxed out. Ooh, nice. All right, what do we get? Five more million sea bills, a Gauss rifle, tier three. Boring. Medium Pulse tier 4, times 4, Artemis LM20s tier 3, and the ammos to go with it. Cool, I'll take it. And message from 4 Mirabug. Yeah, it's fine. Sorry you got your face all scarred up, but hey, it's it, it looks good. Right, let's see if I can. Oh no, we don't get the Onagar. No. Ah, that sucks. No way. Never mind. Unless it pops up in the next, like, day or something. But I don't think it does. No, we want large laser. Large laser. There we go. So I should now have enough. Awesome. That is now complete. And... Three EW countermeasures. We get hardly any money. You know what? That might be easy enough to do. Five catapults? That could be achievable. Yeah. We had that before that last mission. The last couple of missions. We'd have had quite a few catapult kills already. Right. So where are we going? We're free to do what we want. Oh, this is... Hmm. Right, so what mercenary companies do we 
need... There we go. Got there in the ends. Do we need to fire? We've fought the Grey Death and we've fought the Harlog's Warriors. Which just so happen to be the two right next to us. But there is one down here. But that'll be in the next video. So next time around we're going to start working our way through every mission that we can um, achieve. But I think I might try my hand in an endgame mission. See how well we do. Let's see if that works. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And if you're enjoying the series, enjoy it. Because there's more to come.